What's going on, everybody? Here we are for the second time around today. <laughs> Coming to you high atop the kickball, whatever, penthouse in the sky here. Mm -hmm. Coming to you live right here with 110 watts. Jamming out on the week two edition of the Northwest Arkansas Kickball League Kickcast. Brought to you by Sporting Life Arkansas. Get over there and check them out. Uh, we've also got a message board over there, so get over and check out the results over there. Talk some trash. Talk some trash. All What's right, up, guys. Dirty? Oh, man, another day, another day. Yep. Seems like we just did this. Man, we did. Uh, just so everybody knows, this is the second week two podcast. The first one, <laughs> man, Didn't it's like so someone's well. popping popcorn. So we're going to try again. And we went and bought him some uh, some earbuds. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> hey, I do I do appreciate you sharing the mic with me. Absolutely, uh, buddy. I sound like a big kid. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's get into this. All right, uh, week one results, week two results, and then we're gonna go over week three picks, and then uh, some stories, some junk, some whatever else we got going. Uh, week one results. Uh, how'd you do the coin flips? Uh, the coin flips were done. Some teams were there week one day. Most of them weren't. Most weren't. Uh, we did it if they were there. If they weren't there, what we did is I flipped last night. Home team got heads, which is always a good thing to get head at home. And the away team got tails, which is still nothing wrong with getting tail while you're away. Absolutely not. One-liners all day. I Folks, he has these written down, too. That's the bad part. <laughs> He's got four pages of one line. I do. I'm just so, rocking by the seat of my pants over here. But that's that's how we did it. Um, we couldn't wait any longer to get results, so we get stuff posted. So, And to answer your question, Tara, you said uh, you posted about the Tier 3 making up the games. Yes, Tier 3 can make up the games. However, they have to be made up before the following weekend. So there's your answer to that. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to uh, who won the coin tosses in week one there, Mongoose. All right. We're going to start with the uh, 12 o'clock games. Um, kick tees, BJ and Cock, drinkers with a kicking problem, and recreational hazard all coming away with the W. Well, who they play? They knew who they played. <laughs> they didn't play anybody. It was a coin flip. We have people in Great Britain listen to this. This is true. Hey, yeah. Uh, shout out. Shout out to Britain. Great Britain over there. Yeah. All right. All right. So, that's who won the 12 o'clock games. I'll do it right on the 115s. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, 115s, legal and easy, taking out the Eliminators by the flip of a coin. That would be the only way they beat them, by yeah, the way. We'll get into that later. Um, Rock City Outfitters, highly inappropriate. W goes to Rock City. Um, Dirty Ballers and Drunk, again, looking to score. They, didn't, they scored with the Dirty Ballers. They won. Uh, ball shank over your mother. 2.30 games, serial kickers against Fayetteville Auto Park. Serial kickers getting the W. Kicking ain't easy and kick tease. Kick tease takes the win. Actually, that has changed. That is actually kicking ain't easy had the win. That was one that Corey had messaged in Don and we had it wrote down wrong. Okay. So works for me. Kick it ain't easy. Take that win. That'd be. I mean, well, never mind. Yeah, we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, ball taps Sunday and BJ and Cock. BJ and Cock taking the win. There we go. Quadpocalypse balls and dolls. Quadpocalypse. Um, Three forty fives. The Eliminators. Your, 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 kickball crush. Um, takes a win over Landers McLarty. Why has it got to be my kickball crush? <laughs> Listen to you talk about them. Just, they're they're good. Ain't. Simple as that. Okay. They're good. All right. Hey, I'm the one to judge. Uh, Jimmy Kicking takes recreational hazard. Drinkers with a kicking problem takes save by the balls. Kicking chickens wins over I'd kick that. Uh, five o'clock games. Kicking ain't easy wins over serial kickers. Kicking chickens again with a W over your mother. Speakeasy 3.0 over where my pitch is at. The awkward stretches, reach out and grab a win against the unbeatable winning machine at death. <laughs> that, was, that was right off the cuff. I didn't even write that one down. Oh, man. I don't know if I can take an hour of the one-liners. 
<laughs> well, I got one more for you. So, okay. Speakeasy 1.0 goes loco over the Maniacos <laughs> for the win. <laughs> well, yeah, you're really proud of yourself, your earbuds. Dude, aren't you? I'm, I'm so happy. I got a big boy voice. I got <laughs> headphones. I'm living life. Speak, speakeasy 1. I already did that one. Saved by the balls. Um, Zach Morris and Kelly Kapowski in the gang. Can you quit scratching your balls? <laughs> and that's a female, so. <laughs> Even better. Um, they take the win over Drunk Again and looking to score. The infamous KDDC <laughs> takes the win over Sit on My Base. <laughs> hey, don't, don't break my chairs. These are antique wood. We'll get you some, get you some soft wood like a balsa chair or something. Sit in. He showed me he's taking it from Swamp Man. Then gave me the wood for this. <laughs> don't don't make fun of the of the of the the uh, Nightingale Studios here. Okay, 110 watts power. Balls and dolls over Jiminy Kicket. Oh look, the Jaeger Bombers. They didn't even show up for the coin flip, but I flipped for you, and you guys won. Congratulations. <laughs> Mighty nice of you. Over Landers McLarty. <laughs> and the last game of week one puts Pitch Please over Pitches Be Crazy. All right. What do you got for week two? All right, week two. We had uh, several games played. Uh, yeah. A lot of games. People just didn't show up at all. Boo. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, we call that Ninja Ball. Ninja Ball. No, uh, no need in that, folks. Uh, weather was... Uh, Cold and balmy, windy, wet. I don't think balmy ever fit in there. <laughs> well, probably not. No. But it sounded good right off the cuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're working some of that off the cuff stuff, huh? Okay. Yes, yeah, I don't have All anything right. written down over here. We've hey. got, we got B. <laughs> that's that's the extent of the notes there. That's your notes. And, and sporting, I can't, wa- and I can't write your material for you. I, it's a good thing. It's a one-person show if I do that. <laughs> It's just a mongoose. It's not oh. dirty mongoose. We already decided that wouldn't work. Whew. All right. Yeah. All right. Twelve o'clock games. Uh, had some surprises here. Had some some real good games going. Yep. Uh, had a game of the week that we'll talk about that was actually a shocker. <laughs> well, hello. My goodness. <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's our fans. That's the there. studio <laughs> alarm system going off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's just go ahead. And- oh. All right, and we're back here. Yeah, we had to uh, disalarm the uh, system here yeah. in the uh, studio. The receptionist had to speak with us. That's right. Uh, it was a little hot. Um, legal and easy, and speakeasy one point oh. Oh yeah. Uh, legal and easy, as I called it uh, last week. Legal and easy gets the easy win there. Yep. Uh, nine to two. Uh, sit on my base and ninety nine problems, but a pitch ain't one. Um, <sighs> sit on my base gets the win. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, sit on my base gets the win, ten to seven. Even though the other team's taking two outs every inning. Oh, okay. Pretty, pretty brutal. But uh, you know, I, I told Wilson I'd eat a little crow. I, I don't mind a bit. They uh, they won a game. Uh, however, I was still sixty six percent for the day with them. This is true. <laughs> Um, and we'll get to the rest of theirs later. I will say, probably, I would say half the reason their losses comes from uh, Rick Allen. Uh, couldn't catch a cold in the outfield <laughs> on, on a cold, rainy, windy day. Man. He was horrible out there. He did. Horrible. He, uh, yeah. I saw it. I don't know what it was. You know, just. It's I, pretty bad when the girls are saying, kick the left field. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this is true. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, saved by the balls and dirty ballers. Dirty ballers did not show. Come on, ballers. They, they probably will. I mean, there's that, there's that alarm system again. Uh, That's the little alarms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, we have we have Choodles, which is a, a Chihuahua and Poodle. We have yeah, you can hear them. Um, and the air is going to kick on. So, that's all part of broadcasting from the uh, Nightingale, Nightingale Studio. Studios. So, hit me up if you want to chew them. <laughs> uh, BJ and Cock, the drinkers with a kicking problem. Uh, BJ, no, drinkers with a kicking problem gets a win, 13-9. to 
Hey, I, uh, we talked some smack on BJ and Cock. You're going to have to watch them. They're in there. They got Jesus taking the wheel, and it's, they're, they're, they could be salty. However, shout out to Brent, who went and laid down in center field for me, just like I had predicted. Appreciate that. You know, I'm going to go with you not, not going with Salty and BJ and Cock and and with the cum shot. Just stay away from that whole – kill your one-liners on there, please. Okay. <laughs> we got uh, 115 on field two, Maniacos and Jaeger Bombers. We did not show up. Uh, so, we uh, – complete loss. It was horrible. Yeah, what happened? Uh, it was cold, rainy. Windy. Okay. Uh, 46 degrees, the wind chill, 33. I appreciate you not making an uh, excuse. I had no excuse there. We yeah, lost. I would have told the truth. <laughs> we, we, we just didn't show up. I guess someone's in the break room. <laughs> Either that or we also have ducks we, for we, sale. <laughs> we got busy studios today, folks. Man, there's a cooking show that's <laughs> filled right next to <laughs> right next to our show. That's how they cook pizza rolls. All right. Uh, awkward stretches and balls and dolls. Balls and dolls gets the win. Apparently, yeah. awkward stretches didn't reach out far enough for the no, win on that I'm, one. They didn't. Uh, balls and dolls is a decent team. Highly inappropriate. Where are my pitches at? Uh, where are my pitches at? Gets the W nine to three. Uh, here's a surprising game as I'm being looked at by our uh, intern. Uh, kicking chickens and Jiminy Kick it. Oh, Jiminy Kick it wins. How do they beat the chickens? <laughs> Um, chickens are supposed to pick up the crickets. Chickens are chickens are supposed to be this dialed in. We play year round. We've got mastered all this. We got matching snuggies. We've got beanies that match. We we eat dinner together. We do all. You and lost. They, and they lost. You lost as a team. Congratulations. <laughs> you know that 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 hurts my soul because I really I really thought they were going to pull that one out. They've yeah. been playing off season. You know, I mean, I thought, I thought they were going to do good. Uh, legal and easy and kick tees. Here we go. Here's my kickball crush, as he calls it. No, that's not my kickball no. crush. Oh. oh, a little Freudian slip. Man, we got another crush. Oh. My, my legal and easy and uh, kick tees. Legal and easy wins easily 8-1. Yeah. Um, thunderstruck. Yeah, they are They are thunderstruck, no doubt. Did, did you see Busey? I did. Man. <laughs> Members only jacket on. Slick. 84 call. They want it back. Not <laughs> since. Yeah, exactly. 84 had the colors turquoise <laughs> and green gone together like that. Where's those parachute pants? Hey, the That's Zubas are at the cleaners. <laughs> I say Zubas next game. Oh, well. Uh, Speakeasy 1.0, and there's my kickball cross, the Illuminators. Oh. 17 to zip. Yeah. Here's our intern just, just over there. It's top of the hour. And this <laughs> <laughs> Y'all forgive all the noise in the background. We have highly busy studios today over here on Night lot, Gale. A lot's going on. That's right. A lot's going on. So so let's let's talk about this blowout that we well, didn't see coming. Well, the, no, we didn't. And, and I, I, I picked the Eliminators to win because they're the old sons of pitches, but I can tell you they're not the old sons of pitches. No. They uh they picked up uh had number twenty one they picked up number twenty six oh Rick Hart oh Rick Hart no oh, Mr Glove man gloves hey I'm out to buy me a pair this weekend jump a fence in a single bound yeah number four oh old chick oh hello <laughs> Nikki Nikki darling or darling Nikki whatever her name is uh, <laughs> didn't Prince have a song he did yeah he did yeah. <laughs> Our intern's too young to know about those she don't songs. About it. She probably heard a remix or something. Remix. That's enough out of you. Interns are to be Child seen. Child labor is meant to be seen, not heard. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the limiters look good. Who's, okay, I, who's Smokey? What number is that? 21. Dude. Man. He's a beast. I'm tell, I, I, I want to say it. <laughs> You can't say it. I can't say it, though. You can't Smokey, say it. Smokey, if you want to know what I'd say, I'll say it to your face before I say it on the air. It's good. It's, it's just good. from experience. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, holler at your boy. Um, 
drinkers with a kicking problem, dirty ballers. Drinkers with a kicking problem get the win. Dirty ballers once again doesn't show up. Come on, ballers. Uh, pitches be crazy and awkward stretches. Awkward stretches. Um, Jaeger bombers and kicking ain't easy. Kicking ain't easy gets the yeah. win because, again, we didn't have enough people there. Uh, 345, field three. Jiminy kick it gets another win. Um, pitch please did not show. 345 game. BJ and Cock and sit on my base. Umped by KDDC. Yeah. Uh, BJ Cock gets a win, 8 to 2. What'd you think? You were there. You saw it first time. Um, you're right. It's uh, They're that bad. They're, they're that bad. And we know who they are. They. I don't need to say. Sit on my let's base. sit on my base. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. um. They're. They're there to have fun. So what are they missing besides kickball skills? Um, teamwork, coordination, athleticism, uh, basic fundamental four-year-old coordination skills. I, I, I will say this. Uh, Richard has, has he's got to wear some longer shorts. That's distracting. He actually stood up, and I went over to warn him. I thought I was he like, sat I was like, did you sit and shoot bubblegum? <laughs> and he informed me no. I mean, I felt sir. bad because I'd already started picking it off the shorts, so I felt bad. <laughs> sir, tuck your scrotum in, yeah. <laughs> please. Your balls are aching, <laughs> man. Yeah, it, it's it's yeah. Luckily, it was cold. There was no kids out there, <laughs> man. man. Whew. It was horrible. Give him a '76 Chevy van with no windows. <laughs> you know what I mean. Ride around the high schools with cotton candy on the dash. <laughs> And then it chewles out the window. <laughs> um, and where are we at here? Uh, I'd kick that in balls and dolls. I'd kick that didn't show up. I have it listed just so everybody knows. I'd hit that. Uh, it's I'd kick that. That's uh, the get graphic guys over there, guys and gals, I should say. Uh, Their team ought to be. I would come there if it was the weather was seventy degrees and a slight breeze. Yeah. Yeah, I got to give shouts out to Chad though. He uh, he worked his ass off. He had to go on a cruise. He deserves a little vacation. Uh, the problem is he's extended his vacation a little too far. Yeah, I was point. like, how long do you need? Bring bring your ass to the field, sir. You have games. Uh, five o'clock on field two. Kick tees and once again eliminators. Mm. Another blowout, nineteen to eight. Yep. You got Rick Hard. You got, you this got is Rick. actually where I first saw Rick Hard. <laughs> Third base coach for uh, Eliminators, wearing the batting gloves, which I'm pretty sure there was no bats involved in the game. So I'm not sure where batting gloves come in to help. Well, it was cold. Have you? Did they have insulated batting gloves or something I didn't know about? They had insulated golfing gloves. Oh, was he wearing golfing gloves? <laughs> I didn't get that close. I'm pretty to sure Franklin doesn't make it. <laughs> I didn't get that close to Rick. I Hart. didn't either. I was scared. The name scared me. It's smoky kept me off the field. I ain't gonna lie. But no, they. Uh, I, I, you know, and this is what it's about. We're gonna, we're gonna give you a hard time. Feel free to make fun of me. I do it all the time. So don't get, don't get offended. Don't get uh, five o'clock, field three. Ninety-nine problems and drunk again looking to score. Uh, drunk again gets the win here, nine to two. Kind of yeah. surprising. Uh, and not surprised that Drunk again won. I'm surprised they won by that much. It's a big, uh, yeah. 99 That's, Problems is actually a decent team, even though they, I mean, of course, beating sit on my base is not anything that anybody else hadn't done. But, I mean, 10 to 7 against him, taking two outs. I mean, you know, not bad. KDDC and Saved by the Balls. KDDC gets a win here because Saved by the Balls, they, uh, Kyle they had saved to go their to, balls. Yeah, he had to go to Hot Springs and, I don't know, paint some bathroom walls with a glory hole on them or something. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, yeah, they didn't show up. Nope, they they showed there. up earlier, and I will say this. He stayed and he umped his game that he had to ump. Uh, great job, Kyle. Thank you for that. Uh, while I'm on that, uh, Rock City and uh, uh, Landers McCarty. Landers McCarty, McClarty, uh, thank you for uh, umping y'all's games that y'all were supposed to, even though teams didn't show up. Excellent job. Yep. Uh, recreational hazard against your mother. I didn't see the game. I really wanted to. Uh, recreational hazard gets the win here, seven to two. Looked like a pretty easy win. Uh, kind of surprised your mother. Uh, three seasons ago, they were a team to beat. Uh, Patsy left, went to Colorado, stayed drunk, come back, still drunk, uh, just as ugly as when he left. And they come back and they're losers. 
Uh, not only that, I, I got no jello shots from them, which is unusual. Recreational hazard. That's a, that's a Raul team. That, that is uh, Team Brown. They're they're running running drills. Uh, you know they got a team bus. <laughs> they got some stuff going on. The Greyhound goes to Juarez, Mexico every day. <laughs> well, that's what I meant. Okay, all right. Uh, See, <laughs> <laughs> Landers McClarty and Serial Kickers. Man. Serial Kickers gets the win here once again. Landers did not show up. I feel up. bad for our girl. I know that, that was bad. She was cold. had had her nice green eyelashes on, flapping out there. Oh the yeah, wind. flapping like crazy. Yep. yep. Uh, to no avail. They didn't show up. They left her high and dry out there. Kings. But she did say that she has to see them uh, the next day at work. This so, is true. So Give them they, they they quit answering her phone calls and I mean just <laughs> Man, brutalized like, her. like they owed her money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again. Here we go again. Sit on my base and highly inappropriate. Do I even have to announce who won this game? No, but let me do it anyway. Highly appropriate wins nine to nothing. I'm sorry, what was the score? Nine to nothing. As in zero? <laughs> nine to nothing. Didn't come around home. <laughs> nine to nothing. May. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> Moving along. Rock City Outfitter, 615, field four. Against Speak Easy, 3.0. Uh, Rock City took the forfeit. Uh, like I said, they, they did show up to, uh, to ump at 730. Yep. Uh, great job once again, but uh, they didn't good show up to too. play. Yeah, good umps. Uh, 615, field five, which was actually field six. How do you like field six? Because oh, oh, oh. that's not nice. That's uh, like, uh, it's almost it's as good butter. as the sound editing material we're using in the studio today. Oh, don't go there. If you guys could see the studio, I may, I'm going to Instagram a picture of the studio you before need we to. Went to show you what we're working with here. Absolutely. Then you'll want to come on the show. That's right. This sound editing material is top notch. It's, yeah. I, saw, I hear the air cut off. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how many studios you know got air? Every one of them. That works. <laughs> Every one of them. Dude, there ain't no way Butler Broadcasting has air. <laughs> this is true. You can see <laughs> through the rafters. There's no doubt. I've uh, been on the radio over a million times, and it's, whew. <laughs> man. It's so scary. I need a technical shot when I leave. Uh, 615, uh, yeah, pitch please. An unbeatable winning machine of death. Mm-hmm. Longest name in kickball history. They get the win. Uh, pitch please did not show up, um, and, and I, I, I kind of hate that because I'm really wanting to see unbeatable winning machine death play because they're, they're actually a bunch of good players. Uh, Seven thirty. This is one we need to talk about because we're 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 indifferent here. Mm-hmm. Fayetteville Auto Park gets the win over Kicking Ain't Easy. Got the Honda beat the Chevy. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. I called that, it. Really. And you did call it. Uh, where we differ here, though, I think I, I said Fayetteville Auto Park would probably win that game. Them, yeah. Uh, however, next week we're we're completely on That's different fine. sides of the fence. Fable. I'll, the I'll go into detail why. Please do. Why I? Why? That's fine. I will. So we have, we have point and counterpoint. That's... I'm gonna bust that ass. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, ball tap Sunday and KDDC. Tell me about that game. We Y'all lost. lost. We lost. <laughs> Moving right along. We lost. <laughs> Um, what was the problem there? That's the old old balls. There, were, there. The problem was is we ran out of innings and they had more points. My God, um, man. So are they, I mean, are they that good? Or Ball what? tap Sunday needs to change their name to Young Guns. I'm gonna say sixty five percent of their team nineteen years old. Sixty five percent of my team usually in bed by nine o'clock. <laughs> They just yeah, they, they got some they got some athletes on there, um, and it, it's all family with, with them. <laughs> Dude, you snap that chair. I've only got five more to replace it. Um, that might make it through the the cast today. Might. Uh, what I will say is cool is that from what I <laughs> the studio may be on fire. <laughs> what I what I will I did like about it is a lot of them are parents and kids, right? And that that's pretty cool. I mean that that's. Cool to get out there and do it. And they were good sports. Until so they start doing jello shots together. Yeah. The mom whips out a boob. and That's just weird. Um, I will say. Remind me not to watch the game. Yeah. I will say they were they were good to play against. Good sportsmen. Uh, you know, we had a. The bases were slick. We had a couple collisions. They were cool about helping. Uh, make sure everybody was okay. And, you know, they were, they were good sports. They just beat us. 
Okay. Make, make sure if you get hurt, we've got your uh, your waivers. waivers. Yeah, we're if you'll hand us waivers the, first, we'll check on you second. Yep. We need that before we can call the ambulance. Otherwise, we're just going to roll you in the road ditch. Yeah. Uh, last game of the night turned out to be the best game Ooh. of the day. Quadpocalypse and Ball Shank Redemption. Barn burner. Nine innings. Nine. Six to five. Ball Shank Redemption. Yeah. Who saw that coming? Not Ray Charles. Yeah. Yeah. Ronnie Millsap. Stevie Wonder. Ray Charles, <laughs> Ronnie Millsap, Stevie Wonder, and Helen Keller was on color commentary for that game. <laughs> exactly. No one saw it coming. But, it, I mean, we watched the last two innings. It looked great. Quad Apocalypse uh, with two, two left the helm over there pitching. She's got a nasty pitch. It's not very fast, but, man, it's got a lot of movement on it. Well, just a bit outside. Just a <laughs> bit. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they look good. They really do. Um, I, I think here, here's my personal opinion of Quadpocalypse. They're they're coming from a league where it's girl guy, girl guy. Uh, over here, a lot of strategies put into where you put your girls in the lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the ball's two inches smaller. It's a kicker's ball. Um we were playing on bigger fields with less people. Um, it, it's uh, there's some difference. There, there's some difference, and, and once I think once they get accustomed to what they're doing, I think once they learn the uh, strategy of our league, I think they dominate that division. Yeah. Um, but I, I there don't, were some I, fundamental errors, though. There were some fundamental errors. And I'm sure those will be addressed. That they, they they will be addressed if you're on third and it's not a force and somebody bunts the ball. There's no I need for you to run. No need for you to run. Just stay where you're at. I'm fat. So I don't run even if I have to. I'm like, get me out. Yeah. And we lost, so I wouldn't listen to what I say either. Um, everything that we just went over as far as all the results, you can find that on SportingLifeArkansas.com. Go to the message board. Sign up. Don't text me and say, how do I get in? Sign up. You get in. You click on the link. Boom. It's there. And it works every time. Every time. Um, one side note to that, we had some people that, oh, the format, so I can't read it. Oh. Well, it's I because it's, no. it's the mobile site. Yep, They're actually smart. not set up for mobile. Yep, You're going through a third party to do it, and it doesn't adjust. If you look at it on a regular computer, computer, it looks fine. It, it's it's fine. So, and, and, and trust me, folks, mine, you know, my uh, my poor old iPhone that's broke up and beat down and all that, it does the same thing. The format's crazy. Yep. Um, but, we, you know. I've adjusted all I can adjust. And not only that, if, if you'll listen to the uh, – to the kit cash, you'll get the results anyway. Yep. How about that? Yeah. Boom. Ah, plug. Shameless plug. Speaking of shameless plugs. Speaking of. Um, t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Hoodies. Mm. Tons of them. I'm so warm in my hoodie. So warm. So warm. <laughs> Yet not bulky. No, it's a perfect it's, hoodie. It's not, it's not bulky on you. That's fine. That's what I said. <laughs> You like a sausage trying to squeeze a meat in the casing. Well, when you only get a you only get a two X petite, what do you want? You wear a two X petite. Two X petite. <laughs> you were in that medium from the baby gap. <laughs> Man, don't even get me started on going in those places. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh it's an athletic cut large. No, it ain't. <laughs> That's a small. Made for little European men. Man, yeah. I, one of these days, I'm gonna put it on. <sighs> Button it up and run out there, and whoever catches the shrapnel, they'll know. Oh, button to the eye. I don't even want to know about that. It's horrible. You tell me when and where that's going to happen, I'll stay away. I'm going to do a cast from here. Uh, but yeah, uh, hoodies. Hoodies, $25. T-shirts. $16. Man, T-Rex. Uh, T-Rex is T-Rex. the best. You got to come ask us about the T-Rex. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, wear your... Get the, get we need the, to find one chick that we can give one to that will we'll show, show it off. We can get a picture of. Sure. We can get a picture. <laughs> Always, yes, we can. Oh, we can get pictures. <laughs> we got waivers. Uh, actually, you know, I might have one on my team. I might have one on my team. Okay, so we're still looking for somebody because <laughs> if you saw how many people of Jaeger Bombers showed up. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey easy. Hey, hey, easy. No, come by. Uh, check out the tent. We can take cash, check, cards. Yeah. Um, EBT. Yeah, food stamps. Transfers. 
Yeah, if you bring your EBD, EBT card, uh, we give you two for one. Two for one. For those uh, of you who don't know, just stop by and ask me what that means. Exactly. Uh, Western Union, MoneyGram, PayPal. PayPal. You know, whatever. Basically, we, we're going to sell something. Bar- <laughs> barter. Barter. Yep. Uh, all yeah. right. Week three picks. Oh, before we get into week three picks. Okay. I, I do have a bone to pick. Oh. Uh, legal and easy. I'm calling you out. You. Uh I don't know what happened to y'all. Y'all been around since Moby Dick was a mena. Yep. Uh, Hitler was a corporal. Yep. We, we we go over there to clean up after the games Sunday night. And lo and behold, where Legal and Easy held their little get-together, their tailgate party, uh, 18 million cans in the trash can. 18 million. Well, guess what? We have to dig those out. Uh, we're not hobos, nor do we want to feel like hobos digging through trash. But we have to do it. Uh, to make Springdale Parks and Rec happy. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, once again, I shouldn't have to go over this, but we're going to hit it one more time. When you're out at the fields, keep your cans to yourself or put them in the bags that we provide. We provide. Yeah. We don't ask you to bring your own bag. No. We don't tell you you can't drink. No. We just ask you to put your trash in the bag. Simple as that. That we hung up for you. Yeah. That we'll even pick up at the end of the night for you. Exactly. Is it too much to ask? No. Apparently, if you're legal and easy. Apparently. Gary Busey, get your team together, pal. Get it together. All right. On to uh, week three picks. Oh. What, uh, you know what, before we even get into that, let me, handy dandy new computer that I'm working with right here. That is pretty fancy, man. Uh, Touch screen, I might add. All the broadcast materials running off my old one. Yep, it is. We're probably going to end up having to change it over to this one pretty soon. Though. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe we'll want to do three podcasts in a day. That wasn't my fault. All right. I'm actually, folks, I'm actually looking at the weather. Um, Beautiful. If you're a snowshoe hare. <laughs> Snow leopard blindness. Snow le- hey, the, while, while he's looking at the weather, let me talk to you about something serious. <laughs> to quote one of my favorite movies. And that's Snow Blindness and Cats. Donate now, folks. <laughs> I used to chew Big Red gum. <laughs> then people called me Big Red, and I said, no, there's only one Big Red. It's delicious cinnamon gum. Are you done? <laughs> Are you? No. Okay. Oh, man. Uh-uh. Uh, weather looks horrible, folks. It's yeah. simple as that. Uh, looks like we're supposed to get, uh, actually, from my weather over here, it looks like we might get uh, 1.7 inches of snow all the way over to almost Fayetteville. So anything uh, east of Fayetteville, uh, we're looking at a little bit of snow. I think Springdale's supposed to get 0.1 um, Thursday or Friday. It's going to be cold, 38 degrees, windy. Uh, it's going to be brutal, mm-hmm. um, which leads me into the next segue that we're going to kick here is... Uh, if we get rained out again, which at, at this point it's highly likely, uh, what I'm attempting to do is not guaranteed yet. I'm getting with Rick over at uh, Parks and Rec and see if we can get a Saturday scheduled. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'll set it out far enough to where if you work on a Saturday, you'll know far enough in advance that you can take off, whatever the case may be. And um, we'll have a full weekend of kickball. We'll have Saturday games, which will be the same times will be reflected. Uh, is whatever day we're making up, but then we'll you know we'll play a uh, Sunday back to back, so it'll be a full weekend of kickball. What do you think about that, buddy? I like it. Um, as as can the mongoose handle two full days of kickball? The mongoose can. He uh, he's going to go on break afterwards, <laughs> and he's not doing nothing before. He okay. Handle two days. Yeah. No. Um. I th- I think I speak for myself, and probably a lot of the other captains. I'd rather get beat in a game. Then let her ride on a. Yeah, I mean, you, you paid to play. Flip. Yeah, come, yeah, come out and play. And, you know, and, and the thing is, it, it doesn't just affect you when you don't show up. The other teams out there, they're mm-hmm. ready to play and they have nothing to do. Yeah. Um, so while you're on the weather bit, when Sunday rolls around, we will post something on Facebook as soon as we know something. Absolutely. We're not, let me tell you what we're not doing. I'm not laying in bed going, man. I wonder if somebody wants to know what the weather's like if we're playing ball. I'm going to wait till they message me and see. No. 8 o'clock in the morning, generally. 
I'm out at the fields, seeing what it's like. What do we need? What do we got to do? I know Brian ain't up, so let me go ahead and find out. And then we're talking. If we don't post anything, we're playing ball. If something changes, we'll post it. So messaging me doesn't make me go any faster. No, it actually slows us down a little bit. It does, because I'm like, really? <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just stand here for a little bit longer. And there goes that chair. <laughs> uh, I'm glad they're just old, not antiques. No Alarm doubt. system's going off again. I, I, I know. We, we might have intruders out there. <laughs> we may. Um, yeah, folks, I mean, the bottom line is this. If you don't see anything, when you wake up Sunday morning, you pop on the Facebook. If you don't see anything, that means games are on. Yep. Show up on time, and let's, let's get it rolling. All right, now, on to some picks. Oh, uh, week three. Week three. Which is proudly sponsored by Jim's Razorback Pizza. Yes, it is. It's some good pizza, too. A salad bar. I like the salad bar. Man. Problem is, everybody's like, you need to eat a salad. You're, you're a little overweight. Yes, people, I know I'm fat. Uh, however, a salad doesn't help me when you make it six pounds of salad with three pounds of dressing. This is true. Ham and mm. cheese. Yeah. Delicious deviled eggs. Yep. Yeah. Bacon bits. Bacon bits, croutons. Shh. Shh. Tad bit of lettuce to bottom just to call it a salad. Just to soak the rest of the stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Man, they got tabbouleh there. Yeah, who? I love Tabuli. I thought she was pitching. No, that's Tula. Oh, oh. Close. Okay. okay. Both of them leave you with a nasty spin. <laughs> Here you go with the one. One liners. liners. <laughs> but no, um, if you're out and about, hit up Jim's Razorback Pizza. Uh, all right. 12 o'clock, field two. Maniacos and cereal kickers. Who do you have? I'm a fan of the Brown. I'm going Maniacos. See what Brown can do for you? Yeah. Yeah, they're going I'm, to deliver. I'm going with cereal kickers. Of course you are. I know. No, Maniacos go loco. <laughs> this is their Vato. <laughs> oh, me. You're killing me. Dude, we can't eat before we do this. <laughs> they put drugs in those in the food. Highly inappropriate. 99 problems. I've got to go highly inappropriate here. Without a doubt. We're not going to agree on anything. <laughs> highly inappropriate is going to wipe the I map. 99 problems, highly appropriate, ain't one. Hit me. All right. Uh, drinkers with a kicking problem. Drunk again looking to score and <laughs> up by kicking kicking deep and drinking cheap. KDDC. KDDC. A lot of drinking going on in that game. That, the whole game. <laughs> Umps included. Yeah. I go Drinkers. You go drinkers with a kicker problem? Yeah. I'm going drunk again and looking to score. It's well, my old team name. I am the game. In so fact, I bet I can tell you who wins. In fact, I might wear my drink again looking to score shirt out there this week. Yeah. Absolutely. I yeah. might wear the stripes. I'll, I'll I'll bring I'll bring mine up from Little Rock, which is a championship jersey, by the way. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I can rub it for some luck. Yeah. Keep the rubs above the waist. <laughs> well darn. I know. <laughs> you don't want to ride around listening to Beaver no more? No, no. When we get into this, I'll explain that story. You smile. I smile. Dude, turn that off. Man. Everybody, everybody knows I like Bieber. No big deal. That's fine, but not when there's two bare, grizzly-looking men sitting in a Jetta. <laughs> Why? Just really? bumping. <laughs> just bumping some Bieber, and you're just singing it like it's to me. <laughs> nah. I'm trying to make you feel special. Oh, I feel special. Okay. Short bus. All right. All right. Speaking of short bus, where are they at this year? Short bus all-stars. Where, where are bus, they? Was it commandos? A commando? Oh, no, we had short bus all-stars in Little Rock. Short bus commandos. Commandos yeah. were here. Yeah. Where, where, where'd they go? David Heath Hasty? Where's he at? I don't know. He done fell off the face of the earth. He's done. Uh, recreational hazard and pitch, please. Recreational hazard. Pitch, please. Ninja ball, you got to show up to play. I go. Recreational hazard, even if you show up. Rec hazard taken. Yeah, so, you know, I've got I've got to write down my picks just so just so you and I. Yeah, I've got mine here. Of course you do. You got four pages liner of notes, notes and one liners. Yeah. Let me see. I picked uh, serial kickers first game. You can just look at mine. It's the opposite. Highly inappropriate. Yeah. Yep. Hey, by the way, uh, drunk again. Don't forget everybody that. 
JT's new album dropped today, uh, the 2020 experience. In honor, I'm I'm wearing a suit and tie right now. I'll play some of that at the end of this little little cast. Man, know, please, Paris. I know how you feel about some JT. I love JT. He's from, he's from my hometown. We're Memphis boys. Yeah. But the new song starts. You tell me I'm suit sorry. and tie just don't get you? Suit and tie doesn't. It, it, yeah, it's that's terrible. Baby. That's baby making music. No, nah, I mean, you, you get me some, I don't know, really? some of his old Cry Me a River, I'm in. Oh. I mean, come on now. Okay. How, how can you not go with that? Yeah. 115 games. <laughs> Speakeasy 1.0 against Jaeger Bombers. Uh, it's simple as this. If we show up, we dominate. Tara's out of town. She's gone. She's in Vegas. Yep. They're they're going to the strip clubs. They're they're partying it up. Yeah. Uh, we take the win if we show up. If we show up is the key. If you show up. Eric Bell, that's directed to you. My question is, after the past weekend, will enough people show up from either team to make one team? Who knows? I don't know. We'll you see. show up, though? Yeah, Jaeger Bombers. Uh, 115 field three, highly inappropriate and speakeasy 3.0. I think we both know here, highly inappropriate wins on runs, speakeasy wins on spirit. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think there's any question about that. Hey, there's our intern again. What's up, intern? Burning the, uh, burning the pizza rolls. I didn't to put them in yet. Hey, once again, interns. Seen, seen, not heard. Not heard. Seen, not heard. Man. Uh, our intern is also our photographer that doesn't show up either. Yes. Just, just so people know. So when you so see your pictures, at the field, yeah. If your pictures aren't up, uh, she didn't take them because she, she didn't, didn't get out of bed. Because Princess needs some sleepy time. Yeah. Uh, BJ and Cock and KDDC. I, ex- I excuse myself from the conversation due to the fact that I'm in it. I mean, I, I think KDDC is going to win. We are missing our first baseman this week. I, I still think KDDC is going to win. I think it's going to be a fun game, though. Oh, it'd be good. I love playing those guys. Uh, Ball shank redemption and pitches be crazy. I'm, I'm on the wa- I'm on. I'm on the wagon. They, they, you, you brought it up in the last kick cast that we did that won't be published. But uh, ball shank redemption. They've already won more games than they won last season. This is true. Uh, they're on a roll. They're on a win streak. They're feeling good. They're feeling high. They've got it. But they beat pitches be crazy. Pitches I- be crazy by two. I, I think I, mean, it's, I, just, I think it's one nothing. I think it's a high scoring game. Cinderella story's coming to an end. Ball shank. Okay. Two thirty on field two. Here we go again. We got the Maniacos and Legal and Easy. You know, I, I, my earlier pick was was Legal and Easy, but you know, at this point, think about uh, Will's pitching. Uh, some of the pickups they've got. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm going to go Brown here. I got to go Maniacos. The only time you pick the Maniacos, I have legal and easy down to win it. <laughs> I don't think you can mess with Thunderstruck. I, I, legal I, and easy comes away smiling. I, I, I think I think Maniacos pulls the upset here. Yep. Hey, one, uh, of, one of us has got to be wrong. That's exactly right. Plus, it's being up by us. No, that's fine. I up the one you pick. So well, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, kick tees and serial kickers. Serial kickers. I, I just think they're a veteran team. And if everybody shows up, they've got it together. Once again, it's if everybody shows up. You're going serial? I, I'm, I've got to go serial. We agree, folks. There we um, go. Kick tees look, look good last weekend. Fell off. And I'm, I'm giving it to serial. Yep. Uh, 230 field forward. Drunk again looking to score. Where are my pitches at? Uh, I, I'm, I'm going drunk again looking to score. I'm, I'm, I'm riding with the namesake. One liner spoiler. <laughs> um, both teams scored the same amount of points last week against their opposing teams. Right. Okay. I say if the pitches can keep the drunks off their corners, they win this game. Pitches, <laughs> corners, drunks. You can't stop yeah. it, folks. You're, you're cooler than the other side of the pillow. Man, I'm telling you. I'm cooler than Billy D. Williams on the other side of a pillow. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> oh, man. We've got cold to stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, me. Uh, awkward stretches, and I'd kick that. You I've got to be there go, to win. I've got to go awkward stretches. you got to be there to win. <laughs> you got to show up for the you gotta game. you got to show up to win. So you automatically lose in the podcast because you haven't come to a game. <laughs> yeah, I had stretches. Yeah. They're not I, a bad-looking team, really. 
No. Uh, they're, they're, those they're, V-necks, though. Man, those got to go. <laughs> the V-necks are a little rough. The V-necks are tough. Luckily, but, they're, it was cold. They were wearing stuff under. <laughs> thank and they goodness. don't. They're liable to catch some dirt in the belly button. Some of those were super Ds. How, let's talk about Tits McGee. Oh. What team was that? Uh, wasn't it highly inappropriate? I hope. <laughs> if, if it wasn't, it was. <laughs> I think... Yeah, when did they... Where was... Where did this stunner come from? <laughs> it was highly inappropriate. Yeah. Third base, Tits McGee. Yes. And then I heard that... Uh, I didn't see it. I, right. I'm only going by what I hear. Which is fine. I, I heard she dove back to first, and they, they came all out. They slapped the home home plate up. That's a triple. <laughs> it, it was. Man. Yes. So, uh, look forward to God seeing bless highly you. inappropriate out this God weekend. God bless you. Yeah. Um... Oh, right, here we go. Here's my game of the week, and also my pick of the week. Uh, Three forty-five. If you want to see some good kickball, mm-hmm. show up over there on field two, and watch my kickball crush, the Eliminators, <laughs> just disassemble the auto park. Oh, <laughs> man, that was good. <laughs> you like that, did you? Yeah. Off the cuff. That wasn't bad. That was good. This is. <laughs> I think they destroy him. I think they test drive him around the lot. I think I, I, it's going to be ugly. Mm-hmm. Period. The eliminators look. I'm telling you, they look good. They look good, Bob. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pepper needs some new shorts. Um, Who do you have? I I go Fayetteville. You go Fayetteville Auto Park. I go Fayetteville Auto Park. I mean, is that a shameless plug to get you a new Honda Cross Tour or something? No, I'm, I'm cool with the minivan. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I, I. they're hungry. Since you're talking about my Jetta? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this year's just got a hole in the roof. Um, hole in the roof and snowball air. Look at here, boys. Um, no, I, I say I say Fayetteville. I say the, the Eliminators are flat and expired. Change your name to the Zemas because you're done. Zima. You, you gotta put the one liners down. Change your name to Zima because you're done. The Eliminators kill them. I okay. mean, it, it, it's think, think about the wins they just had: seventeen zero and what was it nineteen to eight? I didn't take nothing away from them. That, that's 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 just brutalization. I mean, they're they're going to be dominant over okay. Fable Auto Park. Yep. Um, that's the reason we do this thing. It, it is uh, three forty five. Jiminy kick it to Quadpocalypse. Uh, man, quad clips, Like I said, they're the te- they're definitely the team to keep an eye on. I think the mistakes that were made get tuned I, I, up. I think they correct them. I think they come out on top on this. I think one. Uh, you know the Kickets they hopped away with the victory last week, but uh, <laughs> not this week. <weekend. laughs> all day. I can't. You know <laughs> we can keep going all day. Uh, Three forty five. Field four. Save by the balls. Next game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> sit on my base and say about the balls. Do we even need to know who we think is going to win that one? I think Kyle's going to uh, finish painting the bathrooms in Hot Springs. I think uh, he's back. He's got them together, and they win. Yep. Five o'clock, Legal and Easy and Landers McClarty. Man, Landers, got a show. Got a show. Got I, a show. I mean, either way, I think they go down to Legal and Easy. Yeah, I have. Yep. I, I have. think I think Legal and Easy is upset because they get beat earlier by the Maniacos. And uh, they put it together and they get one. Okay. I think I, they, I, I they, think Mong and the cutoffs and the Thunderstroke are just too much. Yeah. All right. Uh, pitch please and awkward stretches. Hey, you got to show up for the game. I think uh, I think the Jane Fondas, I think they take out pitch please all day. Yep. I think so. Uh, pitch please, you got to show up. When you do, yeah, you're probably going to get beat. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, Aqua Stretch is a good team. They are. Uh, and I'd like to see Pitch Please play this season. Just those, just those V-necks. <laughs> V-necks are a little rough once again. Uh, five have, o'clock, Phil four. I'd have to get a Brazilian to wear that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that, folks. Please don't let me be the person to again, say that. Again, brought to you by Jim's Razorback Pizza, a great place to eat after hearing about my Brazilian. <laughs> Oh, man. Speak easy 3.0 against Ball Tap Sunday. Ball Tap. Ball Tap wins on score. 
Mm-hmm. Wins by score. Mm-hmm. They, they're going to learn a few things about uh, fun and antics. Where is our intern? I need some water, as a matter of fact. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> kicking chickens and balls and dolls. I'm, I'm balls and dolls here. I, I, I'm, I'm still disappointed and heartbroken over the uh, loss last week with kicking chickens. Uh, I've got to go balls and dolls here. What do you yeah. think? Uh, ball, balls and dolls stepping up from tier three last year. I think they take take it to the chickens and they win by two. I'll go with that. Uh, Six fifteen field two. Maybe Fayetteville, the, Fayetteville Auto Park and kick tees. Maybe the chickens have crowed for the last time. Have they flown the coop? Have they made it <laughs> flown the coop? Because they didn't look finger looking good. No, no. Matter of fact, that they they laid. A big fat egg. Not really. Because that would be a zero. <laughs> Scratch it. I'll edit that shit out. I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Um, where are we at? Uh, Fable Auto Park and Kick Tees. This is my pick of the week. <laughs> tell me why this is your pick of the week. Because you picked the other one. But, but tell me what about this game is more exciting than my game. And then here's why I say that. Because okay. you've got Aaron running his mouth already. Okay. You got the trash That's talking. That's the reason Fayetteville's in it. Yeah, and... and, and they're talking trash against the Illuminators. Tell them they will eliminate them. Okay. Uh, I mean, I just think that's a, that's got to be a game of the week. And I, I think it's Quadpocalypse versus uh, Fayetteville. Quad, they don't even play. Yeah, what do you know? We're talking about Fayetteville all apart and kick these. Oh, I wrote the wrong thing down there. <laughs> so much for your one-liners. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Never mind. Oh, wait, folks. No, He's got the wrong right page. Here. When you have five pages of one-liners... <laughs> Yeah, no, I got it right here. He watched Cobra three times to pick up some one-liners. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, me. No, I... You know, you... you the mongoose it. with a Brazilian. <laughs> Brazilian mongoose. <laughs> Ask for it at your local salon. Um, yeah, it's... You it's, might not want to go in and ask for a Brazilian on your mongoose. <laughs> Ricky <Tick-tick. laughs> Um, I just think it's a good game. I, I, mean, I think it's going to be a good game. I think um, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to come down to who plays the best defense because you got two teams that know this sport. <laughs> Isn't that every game? No, not necessarily. For the most part. Okay. <laughs> don't don't, <laughs> don't rain on my – this is my parade. Not only do I own the studio, but I'm also the FCC person. Don't let me cut your mic off. I'm, I'm, Oh, I don't have, Yeah, I guess you've had that. <laughs> Never mind. We're friends. It's, we're cool. No, I just think it's going to be a really good you game. Put your earbuds back on. I, I don't. I agree with you. The other game is going to be. I, I think there's two good games to watch this, this week. I mean, there's a bunch of good games. I think, for me, yeah. if you really want to see how some good kickball is played right now in the season, the Eliminators got it. Okay. I think Kick Tees wins Fable Auto Park, though. I think Fable Auto Park can't get it together after the ass kicking they get from the Eliminators. I have. I, th- I, I think there's dissension in the ranks. I think. I'm sorry. What word did you just use? Dissension. dissension? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just I, pu- I pulled that out of my pocket. I bought it at Walmart when we were getting the earbuds. That's right. I sell them by bulk. Uh, yeah. I, th- I think there's something in it. Hey, intern, can, can you give me another bottle of water, please? Thank you. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I I just I think Kick Tees gets it together. I really do. I, I think it. they're a good team. I think if all their people show up, they've got athleticism. They they've got the they know the diamond sport real well. They're aggressive base runners. I think they take this. I, I, uh, go, with, I go Fayetteville. All right, and I've got a score. All right, twelve to ten. I, I can't go a score on this one. Okay, I, I just don't know. Six fifteen, field three. Sit on my base and drinkers with a kicking problem. Drinkers with a kick problem. <laughs> Similar base. I think, yeah, they, they, they lose this. Yeah. It's a good thing they're in the spankings because that's exactly what they're going to get. <laughs> Look for a complete shutout. And then, I thank you, sir. May I have another? Yes, you can. <laughs> Next weekend. All right. Okay. Dirty Ballers and Rock City Outfitters. Wouldn't have a clue because no one comes to games. <laughs> this is going to be the game where nobody shows. Empty field. Go practice Nin- on this field. Ninja ball on both sides. Ninja ball. Um, it, uh, let's see. Your mother, unbeatable winning machine of death. 
again, it's hard for me to say because this unbeatable winning machine, I haven't seen them play because it was before my time. So I'm, I, I gave them the win. I'm, I'm going, I'm going unbeatable winning machine. Okay. I, I think they're, I think they're that good. Mm-hmm. I really do. I like it. Uh, Seven thirty field two. Yeah. My kickball crush, mm. Eliminators, versus kicking ain't easy. Mm-hmm. I think kicking ain't easy. Get slapped around. I think they just get pimp slapped. Uh, I, th- I only think this is a game here. I, I think it's a blowout. Another one could be twenty-one to four. 21-4. Mucho gracias. Uh, 21-4. I think it's a blowout. Uh, 7.30. Here are the games that we moved. Uh, pay attention to this. We moved the game uh, from 3.45 on field 5. We moved it to field 3 at 7.30. And that's quadpocalypse against your mother with balls and dolls uh, umping. Uh, we moved it because there was a double booking, basically. So you guys, be sure to stick around. We sent you uh, some emails out to let y'all know. Uh, who do you have in this game? Um, I actually have. Who did I have? I have Quad Pocalypse winning this one. I do too. Uh, your mother's playing back to back, six fifteen, and then again at seven thirty. I think Quad's way too much for the coming back to back games. Yeah, that late in the day, your mother is normally a little bit inebriated. Yep. Uh, so I, I think they lose both. Uh, last game of the night, uh, which could be a repeat of last week. Jimmy nope. Kickett and Ball Shank Redemption playing the 7:30 game under the lights in the cold. Ball Shank Redemption takes this. Yeah, they're, they're used to it. They're veterans of this uh, cold weather, late nights, and they pull out wins. They're as surprised as everybody else that they've won a game. It's not skill. It's just pure Cinderella story luck. The, the clock strikes midnight on this one. They're done. Get in the pumpkin. You're out. Nine to two. Jimmy kick it. There you go. Nine to two again. Yeah, I like it. Nine to two. Jimmy went. Jimmy cricket chirps. Folks on, on a on a on a multi answer quiz. He picks B on everything. Yeah. <laughs> he figures someone will be right. Yep. Everyone. So Everyone's you're saying Jiminy Kickett, they're rubbing their legs together for the win. I never said that. I said they chirp out of victory. <laughs> uh, we possibly... <laughs> Man. Good Lord. We, uh, that's the uh, intern in here again with uh, Jesus. 74 <laughs> pizza rolls. Man. Uh, yeah, we got uh, Dirty Ballers. Are they going to show up to Omp? Come on, ballers. You know, you promised us. We have all these expectations of seeing you, and you being filthy, and you're just, no, I'm not going to I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Do you know why I don't like Christmas? <laughs> I actually do, because I sat through this last time. But I don't think everyone else does. All right. Let me ask. Why don't you like Christmas? Funny you should ask, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, and, and, folks, this is a true story. I'm not lying about this in any shape, form, or fashion, nor am I indulging it for for kick-cast purposes. Mm-hmm. This is true. I hate Christmas because when I was 10 years old, uh, I lived next door to, at the time, what I thought was the most beautiful little girl I'd ever seen in my life. She was 12. Mm. She was about two inches taller than me. Ooh. Long blonde hair, blue yeah. eyes, dark tan. Mm-hmm. You know, riding her bicycle or Barbie bike around the neighborhood. She gets a little tan. Right on. Uh, you know, I, I got a bicycle for Christmas. Oh, new whip? Uh, I mean, it was probably stolen from down the street, but it was new to me. Counts as new. Exactly. Um, so she runs over. We got a little snow on the ground, you know, and I'm, I'm bundled up. Man, I'm, and, I got uh, my eyes closed. I see it. Can you see Look, it? A little dirty riding his bike. Yep. Oh, nasty little mullet. Yeah, just oh, white trash. Man, I, man, see I was it. just white trash. I see. Yeah. It. Well, the girl walks up and she goes, "Oh, hey, Brian, what are you doing?" Oh, mm-hmm. nothing. What'd you get for Christmas? Oh, I got uh, this old bicycle. Oh, it's pretty. Look at my new watch. Mm. I said, "New watch? Hmm." I couldn't even tell time. <laughs> uh, so she 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 leans over to show me her watch, and I, yeah. I kind of give her a nod. You know, it's nice. Uh, oh no! Look at it! Look at it real close! 
So she gets it right up under me, and I go to look at it, and I swear to you, a booger falls out of my nose and falls right on the dollar watch. Man. She flips out, runs back in, never talked to her again, yeah, and I hate Christmas. That's horrible. True story. Man. Anyway, um, what else do we need to talk about? We covered picking up the trash. Yes. We covered don't bug us on about the weather. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jello shot competition. Jello, I, oh, Jello. I got one more, too. Okay. I got one more. All pet right. peeve of mine. Pet peeve. Speaking of pets. Uh, folks, yes, I have a dog. I bring it out there. I let it run around the fields. Uh, if it uh, takes a crap on the field, pick it up. Yeah. Uh, I saw some dogs out there. It was actually on the fields that we were playing on, running around the outfield midday. Dog takes a crap in the field. Oh, I can promise you that people that are playing hard, that uh, diving for balls, they don't want to. Uh, mm. They don't want to slide in any of that. No. So pick it up, please. Throw it away. Uh, we can, we can have some some Walmart bags or whatever over there. You can come get, use whatever you whatever you need to do. Good call. Uh, got to fix the sound dampening material yeah. here. Drag that thing. Of course, our sound dampening material doesn't match the size of the table. So no. Uh, jello shot competition. Jello shots. Yeah, who doesn't like a jello shot? Your mother. Where are my jello shots this season? You're falling down on your job. Shame. We haven't gotten anything from anybody. Nothing. Well, we've only been out there one week. That's still, you should have brought me something. I agree. Now, Legal and Easy offered us a burger. They did offer us organic beef burgers. Which is why I turned it down. I, I want the worst kind of beef. Yeah, I don't. I want some roast beef curtains. <laughs> you got any of those meat drapes? <laughs> oh. Dumb risk. <laughs> Investigative journalism, folks. That's what it's about. Um, <laughs> Jello shot competition. Is Blue knots. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. Uh, it's it's going to be held. <laughs> it's going to be held the fifth week of competition. Uh, they'll be open to tier two, tier three. It yep. will be. We'll be judging on presentation. Creativity, creativity, and taste. And taste, and and yes, but before it, it must be made with some type of Jello. Yes, you, you can't you can't bring pudding out there and put it in a cup and call it a crap, a crap know, shot or whatever. Yeah, that doesn't. I mean, come on, it's well, Jello. Sit on my base. Sit on my base. Tried that last season, by the way. Oh, we put some Jello in it. Yeah, no, it needs to be a Jello shot. Yeah. Um, but you got two weeks, counting this coming one, to uh, get some made, get them out, get some feedback from everybody, um, drop them off at the tent. We'll give you an honest opinion. We spit a lot of that shit out last year. Like I don't like a this. Lot. <laughs> hey, we're also looking for uh, for some judges for that. We need yep. uh, we need three or four judges uh, for those. Uh, so, oh, and teams uh, that are competing, you can submit two. Two Jello different shots. types. Uh, but yeah. you need to have enough for the judges, and we'll get with you next week on exactly how many judges so you know exactly how many. Exactly. So if you're interested in being a judge, stop by the tent, get your name down. Um, so we need a few judges for that. Uh, preferably judges that have drivers because you're going to be doing a few jello shots. Oh. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, Jonathan Kaiser. He, uh, he umped the Tier 3 game this weekend, highly inappropriate to sit on my base, said it was tons of fun. Oh, well, good. Everyone was super cool and having a blast. He loves the idea of the fun league. Uh, let's see. That's what we like to hear. Yeah, um, he, he brings up a good point. I, I won't read the whole thing. It's on, uh, it's on the Facebook page. Um, you know, the fun league – has kind of been compared to uh, Little Rock's laid back league, um, and if you know anything about the Little Rock laid back league, they really they really take it over the top in the way they enter the games, uh, which to me is a playoff thing. Um, this season is going to be a little different just because uh, the way the the uh, scoring system is set up, uh, but I still think it'd be cool to uh, to see some cool entrances. Um, for the playoffs for Tier 3. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's always cool. Uh, if you go down to Little Rock, they've done everything from come in in helicopters to come in on Harleys to police escorts to 
uh, come in on fire trucks. They've done it all. Uh, if, uh, pretty if awesome K- to see. If KDDC wins, they I'm won't. going out. <laughs> they won't. Okay. We'll just stop right there. Yeah. Now, when we when we get there, <laughs> we're actually going to dig tunnels and just pop up out of the outfield like whack a mole. You've gone too far. That's what it's going to be. If we dig a hole for you to come out of, there's not going to be an infield. Damn. <laughs> you ain't heard my chair scream. <laughs> I can't help but you greased it before I got here. I've got good cushion. <laughs> he gives me the swamp people log log thing over here. I found that one on the side of the road on <laughs> free <laughs> trash day. Man. All right, guys. So week two, it's in the books. Looking forward to week three. Balloon knots. Oh yeah, let's go with balloon knots. All right, folks. Here, here's the here's an alert. If you're listening to this at work. Turn your volume down. We don't want you to get fired. Uh, we're going to try to keep this as PG as possible on a weekly basis, but if we do come up with something like this, we'll, we'll let you know far in advance, so turn it down now. Balloon Knots. Everybody's asking. They keep hearing me say this. Uh, that's going to be my new team name for next season. Has anyone really <laughs> asked you? Yes. Because <laughs> they've heard me say the Balloon Knots. How, much, they're, they're like, how, how often do you use the phrase Balloon Knot? More than you'd think. <laughs> More than you'd think. <laughs> so, a balloon knot is when uh, you have your, your girl, I guess, or your respective partner, your guy, whatever, uh, and you, you open their butt cheeks up. Okay. And uh, when you go to stick your finger in or whatever it is you're going to do, mm-hmm. uh, they tighten up and it looks like a balloon knot. Okay. All so, right. that, that's the, All right. therein lies the balloon knots. They're in. Then now they, then they speak dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. Yep, I'm that guy. Definitely not safe for work. The dirty mongoose. Man, the dirty mongoose. By the way, that's uh when we get syndicated, <laughs> that's what the show will be, the dirty mongoose show. Absolutely. So all right, guys. We're going to wrap up uh, yep. week two kick cast here. We got uh, we got the picks, got the results. Don't forget if you want to check out all the results, get over to sportinglifearkansas.com. Click on the kickball banner. Click on kickball message board. Sign up and read away. We also, and just so you know, uh, you can check out what uh, Little Rock is doing there. They've got uh, their message board is kind of tied with us. You can get on there and do some trash talking. Uh, we will have some pictures as soon as the uh, weather gets a little better. Um, ah, one more thing. Glad we said that. The rosters, they're due in at uh, 5 p.m. Friday this week. They will not be made available until the following week because I'll have to get all the changes made and get them sent over to our web guy to get him to put them up. But Friday, 5 o'clock, no more changes to the rosters. Do you Bingo. have anything else? Um, if you're hungry, go to Razorback Jim's Pizza. Jim's Razorback Pizza. If you're thirsty... Stop at uh, Last Chance Liquor. Last Chance County Liquor. County Line Liquor. Or Liquor at the Y. Because I wanted to. That's my last one, Lonnie. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, guys. Um, one more usual. thing. Speak easy. Speak uh, easy. Got yeah. March 22nd. They got Jones and Leah on at 7 o'clock. Get out there. Sweet. They got a DJ afterwards. Shake your tail feather. Exactly. Do people shake still tail. shake their tail feather? Yes, they do. Okay. Yes, they do. Back in the day, especially man. when you're throwing dollars. Yeah. What's the forecast? Hundred <laughs> percent chance. chance of rain. Rain. <laughs> um, hey guys, it, this is your deal. We do it. We enjoy it. Give us something to talk about. Um, you want us to talk trash? <laughs> Tell me. I'll do it. Um, Absolutely. If you're interested on being on here and you want to talk your own trash, get a hold of um, of us out there at the tent. We'll get you on. No big deal. I've got an extra squeaky chair here. Um, but get us on and let it be part of it. Until next time. We are out of here, guys. Peace.